It's been, uh, you're watching the mailbox. We have a website called islammailbox.com. I'm Yusuf Estes, jumping right into it. It says, you've talked about kafirs. What is that all about? Well, this means someone who is knowing something and covering up the truth about it. Whether consciously or subconsciously, they're rejecting the message that there's only one God and Muhammad's his messenger. Whoever does this is considered as a non-Muslim, as kafir. But as far as those who are not knowing about this message, that's another subject. But go to our website and get more details. Next one. Okay. Do imams have to speak Arabic in all of their speeches? And the answer is absolutely no, they don't. But in the Juma Khutbah, it is preferred that they will give the ayahs in Arabic and the hadith in Arabic and as much as they can deliver of the prayers, the dhikr, and so on, uh, the du'as, yes, in Arabic language. But if they would like to give translation to Urdu, English, Chinese, whatever language of the people, that's also highly recommended so that people understand what is being said. And okay, we've got another one coming in. Can I wear perfume in public? And this is a girl asking the question, no, you don't wear perfume in public because this is one of the things that attracts men to look at you, think about you, and those are the things that we stay away from. That's what hijab is all about, protecting you. And the, the and that rest of the question says, and what about musk for a man? Is that okay? And yes, the Prophet Sallallahu used to wear atr or atib. This was something that he liked, the fragrances, and he encouraged us to do it. So this is something that a man can do and should do to smell nice, especially when he goes for the Juma Salah on Friday or any of the prayers in the mosque. And when he goes for the Eids, of course, he wants to wear it then. This is something for the men in Islam. And we have another one coming in. Thanking us for the programs that we do like this, encouraging us to keep it going and want to know if dominoes is okay to play. Dominoes is a game with little wooden uh, squares with numbers on it. As far as I know, there's nothing wrong with playing dominoes. I don't, <laughs> didn't have that question come before. But if there is a different answer, you'll find it on our website. Go to islammailbox.com. Type in the keyword that you're looking for. And in the meantime, you can send us an email. Till next time, salam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace be upon you.